Once I read in a book, when there is a will, there is a way. Now the question of the table is, what does scientific diving mean? Let's go all together to submarine journey to discover this world. The principle for scientific diving, that you are a scientist and you gain certain skills in diving then you will be able to lead a research underwater by your own. It is well known that two-thirds from our planet has been covered by water. And by approaching this big portion, we're going to duplicate the research outreach. Scientific diving is rather effective and modern tool. Give a privilege to the scientist to expand our horizon by having more research opportunities. Scientific diving is not limited for geoscientists, not only for geologists, ecologists, biologists, rather, it's open for many other different fields. For example, pharmacists who extract a very unique drugs from coral and submarine plants. Same as engineers who are developing uh, high technology equipment for submarine measurement. It's also open for those who are interested in fine arts for documentation and submarine filming. Unfortunately, there are only few academic institutes worldwide who are dealing or deliver this type of education for academic level. Luckily, Technical University of Freiburg, where I've been studied, graduate and work is one of them. So during my PhD journey, I have joined the Scientific Diving Academy. So I was like working parallel from one hand, uh, manage my PhD research, and other hand participated in this unique Academy. In December 2009, I have been graduated and uh, got the license as international scientific diver. And after a discussion with uh, my supervisor at that time, uh, Professor Dr. Bruda Merkel and my diving instructor, Dr. Thomas Poole, and come up with an idea to uh, make a copy paste from this amazing experience back home by establishing the first scientific diving academy in Iraq with a vision to be the first scientific diving academy in the Middle East. The dream become true when we have found the right partner. Marine Science Center, which is a high reliable research center under the University of Basra. Marine Science Center has been established in 1970s, which has different scientific departments. The only thing was missing is they have no diving unit. And here we are. Therefore, they were the ideal partner for us. In 2010, we have signed an MOU with Marine Science Center. And we officially started uh, interview, choosing the candidates, delivering intensive training in term, advanced swimming, uh, free diving, scuba diving, and at the very final stage, uh, scientific diving lectures and practice. After a couple of years from hard working, a first Iraqi team for scientific diving has been emerged. And despite all the challenge we have go through, I mean, logistic challenge, security challenge, it was really worth to go through. We're gonna see here in this short movie, one of our 
مين اتشيفمنت راح نشوف هنا في هذا المقطع القصير هو واحده من الاكتشافات اللي سجلت العراق وهي اكتشاف الشعاب المرجانيه اللي موجوده في المياه الاقليم العراقيه في الخليج during in 2013 during one of our diving campaign we have discovered for first time ever a coral reef which is belong to Iraqi coastal previously Iraq has been listed as no coral reef region after this discovery Iraq has been joined the international community for coral reef and recognized as a coral reef region now why coral reef is important Coral reef is an indicator for health environment because it's rather sensitive for pollution, contamination, and toxic elements. When we have health environment, then we're going to have better biodiversity. That's mean more fish and more species. Not least, coral reef is considered as a national heritage. It has to be protected. ما تقل أهمية الشعب المرجانية على أي آثار موجودة بالعراق فضلا عن أهميتها البيولوجية والأحيائية والتنوع الأحيائي I do believe that this discovery is only the beginning for long journey because nowadays we are in ongoing research for further potential discoveries so for the next discovery stay tuned Finally, I'm going to close with this. I mean, look at this picture here. When I was diving surrounded by this magnificent world, plenty colorful of starfish, bonefish, and different type of coral, soft coral, hard corals, I was amazed how these species still survive since living under very hard conditions. Hard conditions means a very poor visibility, very limited access to sunrise, and very high turbidity and sediment, very tough current, but still survive. This is exactly like the brave Iraqi people who are living daily under very hard circumstances. I mean, look at this picture here. A soft coral holding several color of starfish, like a mother holding her babies. And the starfish tightly capture the branch of soft coral. Now, this is look exactly like Iraqi people who are living under very bad circumstances in daily life. But still they tightly capture their roots, proud of their nation, and never give up. Finally, I would like to address a big hurt for these brave Iraqis, for this lovely country, and for you all. Thank you.